Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to a very bright Los Angeles January day. I love California, but I hate smog. Give and take, you know. So, now that we're not going to be using the, well, any part of the beetle floor, I guess all that is left to do is to separate it. Let's get on. Ah, I'll show you what else I've done while we've had a bit of downtime as well. So, like I said before, that is all that's left of the Volvo right now. My friend's having the transmission, manual transmission swap kit, and then we're going to rebuild that engine and that'll be a, just probably sell it. That's that. Engine crane's being used for that. Now, usually, I use the engine crane to lift bodies, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do that right now. So, the next thing to do will be pull the seats out, try and sell them, get a few dollars back, and then, oh, if you look at the paintwork as well, so I hit the paintwork with some 400 wet and dry and got all the uh, the goodies off. So that's the not done side. That's what it did look like. And then, you know, don't get me wrong, it's far from perfect, but it's nearly one color, you know? <laughs> and the Bondo <laughs> went down, that was probably a good quarter of an inch deep there and also good quarter of an inch deep there it looks like it's hit a straight railing or straight bar right there because on the other side you can see all the dolly marks but um hammer and dolly marks but yeah i'm just going to take that off i know i like a few dents i like a bit of vehicle history but right now let's start taking the body off the frame gas tank is out uh steering column is out uh, two front bolts that were there and there are out and just gives you a little bit of an idea why I want to do a kind of like a floor swap on this car because if you look at it like the front's been hacked out Ooh. okay that was interesting so the front's been hacked out and you can just see the amount of rust in there and then um, the floor is just done the bits that aren't rusted are like the Himalayas, they're all over the place. And then when you get underneath, it literally looks like it's been dragged through the desert with no wheels. Like if you look at that seam there, how bent that is, I don't know what's happened to this car, but it's definitely had one hell of a life. That I don't think has involved a lot of tarmac, I think it has involved dirt but it's next chapter will involve tarmac and that is me a definite bit of progress has been made didn't get much time on the bog today because we had to get wife tastic out the door she's gone on a little trip this weekend but so we had a bit of a chop at the front to get the steering components out because i'm not going to need any of this that is going to have a motor in it but everything is off so we're on jack stands right now, and mm, I don't, I've got to figure out a way to get the floor the, the floor out from underneath the car in my, you know, area. So, what's it looks like inside? So that area is where the gas tank kind of sits on the Miata. We've got this hump at the back, so I'm definitely not going to need any of that floor. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to chop this out, that area there, Leave the wheel arches in for now. I think they're too narrow and I won't be able to use them. I'm going to leave that vertical in. Probably take the line there. Just chop that out. Leave some flat area. If I, need, if I do leave the wheel arches in and I need to weld to it, always leave something flat to weld to. Um, but what that'll do, if I open that up, it'll give me access to maybe chop the torsion bar housing off the back of the frame and pull that out in one piece. So this, this floor is probably going to have to get chopped up it's not worth anything, it's got holes in it already, it's patched and also I'm not going to be selling it with a pink slip so the frame number I'm going to be cutting out anyway so yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll have a bit of a chopper rooney for a while Today is a good day The block has been sold and all the transmission crap has gone Awesome! Love that, love the space Unfortunately I live in suburbia where people constantly want to mow I won't swear, they're gardens, just make noise. The only noise that should be made in suburbia is the cutting up of cars. And look, 
You know shit's going down when new saws or blades have been bought. Let me update you. So the floor completely came out of the beetle last night. She, oh god damn it, seriously, a plane as well? Suburbia, gotta love it. So we're totally separate. The body is off the floor. And I also cut in a little peephole, as sexually suggestive as that sounds, just to see what was going on, because I'm not gonna need any of this at all. So I'll cut that out as well. Just wanted to show you guys a level of professionalism that is employed at Nathan's Garage. A previous cab lifter on their uh, axle stands and then trolley jack under the back and after I've uh, impatiently chopped the gear shifter off um, the floor pan should roll out to a degree to a certain distance not all the way but enough to start chopping the last hour has been like a war it's been like the fifth round of a championship MMA fight and I won okay let me show you uh, what we got done now with logistics being what they are and not being able to just you know roll this pan out and put it somewhere it's got to come out in pieces and like I said before I want that template so I thought I'll just chop the back part off dear lord what a what an hour so it's now off it is now the next day we had a good morning actually somebody came down and bought the wheels bought me a little bit of room here still got the seats looks like i'm going to be dropping the price on those it is the next day and it is time for the front end you know i was thinking about this and it's so labor intensive cutting this bloody thing i don't think i'm going to keep any part of this floor pan i'm going to cut the frame number out from that area and then i think the scrap man's going to be taking everything so for now get this back part out and then start on the front that actually went a lot easier than i thought so the first third is out it's gonna be three pieces first third is out second third is right there Just gonna go post this up on Craigslist real fast and then we shall carry on. Houston, we have no problem. Yeah, here we go. Making progress. Lovely jubbly. Only had to take it out in two pieces, not three. So love it. So I'm gonna give it a clean under the floor, chop some more stuff out, put the uh Axle stands in the right place, and I don't know, we'll see what we do after that. When you introduce your better half to the project properly for the first time, you make sure it's clean. I'm a gentleman, it's what I do, it's how I roll. Stop being me. Okay, up next, I thought it was just going to be a quick outro to, the, uh, to this film, but it is so much more and this will really demonstrate why I love my wife so much and I'm surprised she puts up with the dumb shit I make her do. Hi right, guys. <laughs> Every now and then my projects are enhanced way more than they deserve to be. 
when Wife Tastic does her uh, Fred Flintstone impression. What do you think? Beep beep. Do you think it's? Uh, does it feel fast? There's tears coming out of my eyes. It's going so fast. That's, that's what the sunglasses are for. What about the AC? Does the AC work? Blowing right through my hair like the wind. Okay, and on that high note, we shall end this video. Okay, so if people liked the film, what should they do? Subscribe. And like? Subscribe and like. And where should they go to see more about me and the build? Nathan's Garage. You don't have what? Where? What the fuck? You gotta tell me what I'm gonna say. I don't know. <laughs> Nathan's Garage on Facebook okay. and Nathan's Garage official on Instagram. Okay. Okay. I'm actually gonna leave that in because that was really cute. So, if people, if people liked the video, what should they do? Like and subscribe on Nathan's Garage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, 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 but I only create marketing. I don't do it. You're the actor, not me. Okay, right. So, You're the presenter, not me. four questions. Okay, okay. If they like it, if they like it, they should like it. Yes. If they want to subscribe, they should subscribe. <laughs> yes. If you like it, you should like it. If no, I'm. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Okay. And on that high note, we're going to end the film. So, if they like the film, what should they do? Like it. If they want to subscribe, what they should, should they do? Subscribe. If they want to know more about the builds and me, what should they do and where should they go? Follow at Nations... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> If they want to know more about me and the build, where should they go? Nathan's Garage Official on Instagram. And where on Facebook? Nathan's Garage. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you end a film. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>